Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Victorian Premier Jacinta Allen has been slammed after trying to take a playful jab at Sydney and Adelaide. Ms. Allen took to Facebook and Instagram to gloat over Melbourne being placed above the NSW and South Australian capital cities in the Economist Intelligence Unit's EAU, Global Livability Rankings. Melbourne landed at fourth place behind Vienna, in Austria, Copenhagen, in Denmark and Zurich, in Switzerland, while Sydney ranked seventh and Adelaide eleventh. The EIU ranks 173 cities on several categories including stability, healthcare, culture, environment, education, and infrastructure. If you're reading this from Sydney, enjoy the fake trams. If you're in Adelaide, flights east are cheap at the moment, Ms. Allen's post read. And if you're in Melbourne, have a great Friday night in the sports, live music, and major events capital of Australia. A number of Melburnians took aim at the Premier's banter, saying issues in their city such as infrastructure and crime were still going unchecked. Those issues saw the city drop from third place in last year's rankings after previously holding the top spot for three consecutive years from 2015 to 17. One social media user described Ms. Allen's post as cringeworthy, adding that all three cities are good in their own way. At least Sydney has a train to the airport and Adelaide isn't run by constant protesters and youth criminals like Melbourne is, they wrote. Melburnians found issue with the city's ranking given the current high cost of living alongside deteriorating public services. The problem is that education and health are terrible and housing is in a tragic situation, one wrote. The homeless people in the city this morning were so wet. What are they meant to do? You might want to try and work with the federal government on housing and food affordability before gloating too much, a second wrote. I cannot believe the amount of money I am burning through as a renter now. The EIU dropped Melbourne's perfect score of 100 for infrastructure to a 96.4 this year due to an acute housing crisis caused by a shortfall in housing availability. Opposition Manufacturing Minister Bridget Valance also took aim at the Premier for her government driving businesses out of the state. Sure, we love the footy, but come Monday morning we'll all know the shameful tax hikes under the Labour government under your leadership driving manufacturing businesses out of the state to QLD and SA, causing job losses, she wrote. Your financial incompetence and outrageous high taxes making life harder for everyone else in Victoria. Some users even admitted the issues had forced them to flee the state for better living opportunities. Couldn't find a house in my hometown. I'm over the border getting some sunshine, one wrote. Melbourne is so great that we left, Labour has destroyed this once great city and they haven't finished yet, a second said. Another wrote that, no one in their right mind would move to this crappy state after what your government has done to it.